Hi, I'm Chris Pollock and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a jig that I made using my 6 by 48 inch belt sander to sand compound radiuses or straight radiuses into fretboards. It's, I converted my uh, sander, which is a real reliant, but they don't make those anymore, but it's the same basic belt sander as the Harbor Freight, the Shop Fox, and the Grizzly. Um, the Grizzly might be the best choice for it if you could afford the Grizzly. Uh, let's look at the jig first. Here's the jig. It consists of one by one by one eighth inch angle, which I painted and welded together and made a frame that goes around and attaches to the frame of the sander. The reason I say the uh, these type of sanders are good because they're made a they're cast so it's easy enough to drill a hole and tap it for all the mounting hardware. Um, also on mine and probably on the Harbor Freight maybe the Shop Fox this drive wheel was lower than the bed or rather higher, a little bit higher than the bed so that when I sanded in the radius it put a divot in the first fret. So what I had to do was add a steel plate it's a little bit less than a quarter inch that I had ground at a machine shop along with the end plates uh, and I just attached it to the table, beveled it it also made me extend the bed a little bit more so I get a 18 and a half inch bed. Uh, the one reason I say the Grizzly sander may work better is because it comes with a graphite cover on the bed and it probably raises the bed a little bit enough so you might not have to worry about this these wheels being higher so it may eliminate the need for this or your, your particular sander may not have the problem that this one did but also when I ground the steel plates, I've got plates for here. These are the end plates which the guides will ride on in the carriage, which I'll show you later. Uh, four screws made to level so that I could get this level with the top of the, the bed top and, and the end plates leveled. This will loosen up here and has a slot and these will swing to the side to allow for paper changes and on the back side it's just straight attached so that's pretty much the basic tool I also have a stop that when my uh, when the carriage will ride on to keep it to where the first fret is on the flat. Uh, but I also remove this stop if, if the fretboard's longer than 18 and a half inches then I have to remove this stop and push backwards and go to and fro a little bit to get the whole fretboard on the sanding table. This is the fretboard carriage itself. It's made up of plywood and plywood end caps which has this uh, this is the radius guy this I had this is the radius that I want for my fretboard since I'm doing compound radius this is one radius and the, and the other side is another radius I also made a vacuum chuck on this one which is aluminum and this is the port for the vacuum that goes through that's the vacuum tube attachment uh, there's a stop for the fretboard front I believe my radius this is a is a nine inch radius which will yield a ten inch radius at the nut and this is a 
17.44 radius which will yield a 18 inch radius at the saddle that's what I'm looking for in mine all I do is simply chuck up the uh, fretboard I connect my vacuum hose by the way I use a compressor out of an old refrigerator for my vacuum pump 20 bucks it cost me and it's nice and uh, quiet as you can't hear it now then just line up the center marks with my center marks on the carriage and the back end like this vacuum chuck. Don't have to clean off any tape or anything. Good deal. Uh, then I go ahead and put it onto the sander. Then it's a matter of loosening these. On the other side, same thing. That allows I drop. See, you can hear it hitting. That's when it's hitting the bed. So I know that the fretboard and my guide are at the same depth. Tighten them. Make sure they're in line with my marks. And then tighten the same thing on the back. Uh, you can also see my vacuum setup is right here. It's just a vacuum. Uh, simple enough easy and I also have the vacuum connected to my foot switch which operates the sander itself and the vacuum at the same time which frees up my hand. Now it's just a matter of sanding the jig, rocking back and forth, swiveling the sand. Uh, I'll do a little demo of it actually running back radius. Well that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some ideas. Possibly you can convert your 6x48 belt sander into a radiusing jig for your friend. Well that's it for now. Oh yeah that was uh, 80 grit sandpaper that I used. Um, so see you next time. Hope this gives you some ideas.